Hello, I'd like to show you a program made in MATLAB. This program simulates a semi batch reactor. Here in the picture we have the semi batch reactor with an initial mass of formal date and only uh, one uh, flowing of ammonium. Here in the right top corner we have the chemical reaction it's going to be carried out. The ammonium plus the formaldehyde is going to give us the hexamethylene tetramine plus water. As a semi-continuous reactor there is only one uh, flow in and there's no uh, flow out so this uh, the total mass of the formaldehyde is going to, to increase. Here we have the, the data of the parameters we are going to be able to, to change. This first one is the, the flow of the ammonia set up in 200 kilograms per hour. Here is the temperature of the flow of the ammonia. In this case it's 50 centigrade. As the this chemical reaction is very exothermic, uh, the temperature of the reactor is going to uh, increase, so we need to to cool with a with a cooling jacket. So this temperature is the the, the temperature of the cooling water to refrigerate the reactor. This is the area of the of the heat exchanger. It's set up in one meter square. This is the initial temperature of the, of the reactor, the initial temperature of the formaldehyde. And this is the initial concentration of the formaldehyde. We can change it. Here are the, the parameters we are going to, to simulate and to see how it changes. This first one is the total mass of the reactor. The initial mass is in 1000 kilograms. Uh, since it's a semi-continuous reactor, the total mass of the reactor is going to increase with time. This is the concentration of formaldehyde in mass fraction. Uh, this uh, mass fraction is going to, to decrease with time because of the chemical reaction. And this is the temperature of the, of the reactor also it's going to change with time and uh, because the, the reaction is very exothermic. So let's run it to see how it works. This first plot is represented the total mass in the reactor with time. We can see that it increases linearly with time and I set up the condition and when the uh, concentration of formaldehyde becomes zero to stop feeding ammonia. So at this time the, the mass of reactor becomes constant. This red curve is represented the mass fraction of formaldehyde with time. We can see how it, the concentration decreases very fast because the chemical reaction is very fast. Here is the in this uh, blue curve is represented the temperature with time, and also we can see how it increases very fast, reaching to uh, 250 centigrade, and then when the 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 concentration of formaldehyde decreases, also the, the temperature they start decreasing and in this pink tem uh, curve is represented just the temperature with the mass fraction to know uh, the peak temperature corresponding to which uh, value of mass fraction. Uh, we can run it again to see how in the picture also the, the liquid level uh, is increases with this time. Also I set up the, the color of the picture to, to change according to the concentration of formaldehyde. The less uh, mass fraction of formaldehyde, the lighter the color is.
we can change here for example the concentration of from a lead we can increase it to 0 0.68 then watch how the temperature rate is much higher because the more concentrated the formal is the the faster the reaction is going to be so the the temperature is going to be higher if we want to not to to reach so higher temperatures for these conditions we can uh, change the total area of the heat exchanger we can increase it and this way we can see how the temperature is going to be lower I added this item to just stop in the simulation uh, we can stop it we can run it again continue I also added this uh, small menu here mm, which lets us to for example save the data for this case we can create a txt file save it and then open it and to see how the maximum temperature rate is 200 at this time for this conversion and also all the data for all the points from the time from 0 to the h hours the, the three parameters we are measuring another uh, thing I added is the area plot for example, this uh, allows us to know uh, in which uh, interval of uh, area of heat exchange we work if, the, if we don't want to reach the uh, same uh, value of maximum temperature. For example, for this case, if we work uh, between an area of 1 to 10 uh, meters square, we plot it and we can see for this uh, interval from 1 to 10 meters squares we know for each uh, value which is the maximum temperature reached in the reactor so if we don't want that uh, to reach uh, 200 uh, centigrade in the reactor we know that we should work in a value of uh, 5 meters squares or higher so here we have and this we can change for different different conditions for example for can change it in the other we can change it for these conditions and to know in which uh, interval of area we want to work if we, do, if we don't want the reactor can reach uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, 160 uh, centigrade of temperature, we should work with uh, an area of 4 or, or higher meter square.